Right, welcome ladies and gentlemen. Excuse the mic, I've got to hold it. Stand broke. Anyway, Star Wars, the new Ray movie, is causing a ruckus and shill media is up in arms because you don't like what Charmino B. Chinoy says. So shill media has to jump. Whee! Ah. Try and catch that proverbial bullet. It's laughable. What I'm going to show you is John Rocher or rocker, whatever, I don't care, of the Hot Mike podcast with Jeff Snyder, basically acting like a shill bitch. Um, and it's it's very unbecoming, because actually, the way he jumps to the defence of Charmino B. Chinoy is spurred on, first and foremost, ladies and gents, by his own audience, asking him questions and giving him money. And he goes off on them. He insults his own audience. It's not a good look. It's real bad. So I thought we'd take a look at it together because it's funny. Uh, and and you know what? It is absolutely shill media being shill media. I mean, this is this is John Rocher being a shill. Just being a shill. I can't say much more. And also being very disingenuous with his counter-argument. And delineate... Like, he, he genuinely believes people's issue... Is just that Shamina B. Chinoy said she was going to be directing one of the first females directing a Star Wars movie. That's not been anyone's argument, John. You moron. And you're more than welcome to come on the H cast and we'll have a nice, lively debate with you. 100%. More than happy to have you on my show. But that's not been people's comments. People's comments have been that's a redundant statement because Kathleen Kennedy's in charge of Star Wars and, funny enough, is a woman. The focus of Star Wars has been female-based and feminine-based ever since the new sequel and everything since then, basically. And not only that, it's also been Charmino B. Chinoy's other comments. You know, I like to make men uncomfortable. I enjoy making men uncomfortable. It's been that stuff, actually, John. But you're just going to put it down to the fact that people have had enough and are like, oh, well, you know... It's just because she's going to be directing it. No, dunce. That's the most simplistic way. Anyway, let's take a look. Uh, you'll enjoy this, guys. Have to ask us here. Let's start with the first one here. That is from uh, I Am To Fly Cam. He said, Miss Obed, Obed Chinoy is single-handedly going to sync this movie before he even films, LOL. Despite how you feel, John Ray didn't connect with most Star Wars fans. Um, R.I.P. Uh, and we also have another one here about, uh, in my opinion, Sh Charmino by Chinoy's recent comments are condescending towards past female Star Wars TV directors. The last thing Disney and Lucasfilm needs is another PR disaster. What a bad way to start 2024 for them. So, Jeff, I got a lot of thoughts on this. Uh, and I, I don't mind opening the door and having the conversation now about her comments. We had it for later in the show, but we can do it now. But uh, do you want to have a first uh, take on this? What do you no, think? I'll you. Okay. So just remember that, guys. Just remember that. His fans, his audience has paid him $15 to answer this question. He's about to insult his audience. He is. This is the comment from Charmin Obachinoy, who was, of course, directing the new Star Wars film that's going to be focused on Ray. She was talking to CNN this past Sunday. Uh, and she said, I'm very thrilled about the project because I feel that we're about to create, what we're about to create is something very special. We're in 2024 now, and it's about time that we had a woman come forward to shape a story in a galaxy far, far away. So, of course, as we saw from I Am Two Fly Cam and Mariana, some people really got into their feelings over this really innocuous comment. She's basically saying that she's happy to be directing a Star Wars film as a woman... I agree. And, and that she's going to be crafting this from a woman's point of view. She was not... I agree. Do you guys have any... Any element of your IQ that isn't paid for? Are any of your takes unpaid? Your audience is on the button. You're not. One, crafting something special is laughable under Lucasfilm at this time. Two, laughable that a Ray film is even being proposed. You're not... I was going to give you the benefit of the doubt and say you're not stupid, but maybe you are, John. Maybe you are actually this stupid. 
But did you not see the steady decline in interest in Star Wars? Have you not seen the steady decline in all things Star Wars, interest-wise? No? Have you not seen that? So to come out and profess, yes, we're going to make something special, is laughable. It's funny. And it's not that she's going to be directing it. It's that the entirety of this era of Star Wars has been shaped by a woman, Kathleen Kennedy. Are you really... Are you really that stupid, or are you just being disingenuous? Which one is it? Not denigrating any of the female directors, like Steph Green and Bryce Dallas Howard, and um, was it Stephanie Chow who did who did uh, the other who did the series, the Book of Boba Fett? She was not anything negative. She wasn't shitting on Leia or a soap. Was it was it Deborah Chow, not Stephanie Chow? And what has he titled this as well? So. They, they, Again, he's insulting his own audience because this was spurred on by his own audience asking him questions. And this segment is called Shamina Bay Chinoy's Star Wars Comments Piss Off a Bunch of Weak Ass Men. The physiognomy on you, son, looks like you are drinking so much soy. Right? Weak ass men? You're saying that you don't have a jawline. Really? Behave. Get back in your box. Katano, she was simply saying that finally a woman gets to direct a theatrical feature in Star Wars with Rey, with other women leading the way. And there's nothing fucking wrong with that. I swear to God, men, reach down into your pants. People felt. All right. Let's Sorry, I jumped, I jumped ahead on there. Uh, it's, it's not it's not just men your audience there was a woman there asking you that as well but this guy just goes on and on and on let, let, keep watch this this guy's ridiculous men reach down into your pants find your fucking balls and your cock and be okay with it we can take a woman directing a film in Star Wars and live we're all gonna fucking survive I swear to God it's not that she's a woman. You disingenuous cuck. It's not that she's a woman. That's not what people's argument is. You're really, really that disingenuous? Or are you that stupid? Are you that ignorant? What is it? Because it's not that she's a woman. <sighs> God, you guys want to come off like you're tough motherfuckers and you're a bunch of wusses that if a woman... Tough, tough, tough motherfuckers, bunch of wusses. Again, physiognomy, son. You don't have a chin. You don't have a jawline. Calm down. You're talking like you're Hollywood's hard man critic. You're a joker, John. Because you're being disingenuous with the story overall. It's got nothing to do with that. And it's your audience. You're shitting on your audience. Your audience asked you this. I, I sincerely hope they leave you after you've just shat all over them. It's just ridiculous, mate. Woman can't direct a Star Wars film. You lose your fucking shits. Or that she says she... I didn't see anyone crying at Patty Jenkins directing Rogue Squadron. Again, you disingenuous fuck wants to craft it from a woman's point of view and yes she went further and said i want I, absolutely i like to make men uncomfortable i enjoy making men uncomfortable because she wants to put shit out there for us to confront do you know how we oh so you do know so you start with the disingenuous comment and then you end up with actually what people's issue is with it okay right we got there in the end solved uh, civil rights in this country we put it in people's faces and finally got them to understand it they had to see hoses being turned on black sorry are you equating a Pakistani woman wanting to make men uncomfortable with civil rights what, what are we what are we going to be learning from her hmm what is it people when they were protesting in the south in the 1960s oh now he's now now he's now he's simplifying it all he's literally comparing ladies and gents this is how dumb john rosher is he's literally comparing a star wars director 
a misandrist, might I add, comparing her misandrist take on Star Wars with the civil rights movement and racism in the South. Holy shit, I did not think John Rusher could get more dumb. But not only that, what's important to note is he's shilling. This is all paid shilling crap. For people to finally wake up. That was uncomfortable shit to watch, okay? So at the end of the day, she said nothing innocuous other than me as a... She's a Palestinian, uh, Pakistani-Canadian. She said nothing innocuous. Do you know what that word means? Because you're using it in the wrong context. Journalist, she's a two-time Oscar-winning filmmaker. I'm gonna do a Star Wars film from a woman's point of view, and in 2024, I'm happy to do that. I don't. Yeah, yeah, because women are so oppressed in 2024. You fucking dipshit. I don't know why men who are supposedly tough as shit and all strong and shit are losing their collective fucking minds. Because it's important to stand up for other men. It's important to stand up against misandrists. It's important to stand up for a movement which is toxic. That's why. That's why it's important. That's why it's important to call this stuff out. And also, you, you've got to, you, you're being extra disingenuous, John, because we're not losing our minds in an aggressive manner, right? Going, oh, this dumb, blah, blah. We're laughing at it, John. We're laughing at it. Right? And again, John, let's swap out that word I like to make men uncomfortable with. And I'm saying this, right? Like, if you, I'm on stage, I'm saying this. I like to make women uncomfortable. I enjoy making women uncomfortable. It's not that palatable, is it, John? It's not, is it? Now, let's take that a step further. I like to make black people uncomfortable. I enjoy making black people uncomfortable. Because that's the same tone and tenor she took. It's not that palatable at all, is it, mate? It's not that digestible. So if it's not for one, it shouldn't be for the other. Don't be a fucking hypocrite, you scumbag. Over this a stupid, over this comment in such a stupid way. There's my. I, I agree with you that she clearly intended it as just like it's an honor to be the first woman to direct a Star Wars. Yeah. You know, she. Uh, yeah. I, and I can see in their their chat at the same time, some some of their fans have got it. Literally saying the same thing, actually. Yeah, let a man filmmaker say, I like to make women uncomfortable, and we see how that turns out. Exactly. Exactly. So, so you know, some of their audience gets it. Obviously, everyone, but but you see those quotes, and it's like, oh, this this woman hates men. And then you do the, then you go down the rabbit hole, and it's like, yeah. oh, well, what did she even do to get this job? Right? Because right. I never heard of her. And then it's like, oh, she hasn't really directed much. So, you know, and, and then, then then it becomes a Kathy Kennedy thing. And it's just right. like... Yeah, that's important. You're, all, you're both being so incredibly disingenuous. Please do open invite. John, Jeff, follow me over on Twitter, at Mistake Reviews. Come on the HCast. Come on my podcast. Well, I have, happily. You, one, Jeff, you'll have to get better internet because that's amateur and pathetic for someone that streams, you know, in part for a living. That's embarrassing, mate. You look like 360p pixelated, right? But you're welcome on my show. We'll, we'll happily have a debate with you about this. It's just pathetic. Like, which is what Shapiro. Let's did, let's wait and see what kind of movie she delivers. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I mean, yeah, we can happily see what kind of movie she delivers because we've also got how many years now of Star Wars products that are garbage. It's we don't have to give them the benefit of the doubt anymore. You idiot. What is wrong with you people? Oh, wait, sorry. Shilling. I mean, do I think that she... <sighs> I mean, part of it reads almost like comments that get you fired. Mm -hmm. Like the kind of innocuous stuff that like Chris Landon would say, you know, in the wake of Melissa Burr leaving Scream 7. And then it comes out, they're like, hey, I actually left Scream weeks ago. Yeah, 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 right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it's, it, it kind of reads like that. Like, is she even still on it at this point? Or is she already yeah. off? And that's why she's able to talk like this. But, like, yeah. it, either... No, there's a double standard. She's able to talk like this because she's a woman. Either way, I, I don't think it's that big a deal. 
Um, yeah. And I think that we just need to stop parsing the language of everyone who talks about Star Wars and just, like, fucking judge the movies. Yeah. It's so fucking exhausting. Well, no. Well, you're right there, Jeff, actually. We do need to just, you know, judge the movies. But your buddy, John, your little buddy boy, John, there, would still claim everyone's a, a toxic man baby for not liking the movie when it comes out. Guarantee it. Because he's pathetic. Austin. Like, yeah, see, and this, and this is the, yeah, yeah, I'm tired of this culture war Fox News bullshit. I agree with you. Fox News did a whole. F but hold, so hold on. I'm tired of Fox News culture war. You're quoting the woman saying she's an activist and saying she enjoys making men uncomfortable. That is antagonistic, you moron. Fucking segment today on their channel about these comments. And they, all these all these fucking um, dingbats were on there talking about, oh, Star Wars is woke, Star Wars is woke. And then Emily Campano, the lead dingbat, said after it was done, that's why I'm a Trekkie. And they all cheered her. It's like, Trek has, Star Trek has been woke since its fucking inception. And this is the kind of stupidity that we're dealing with most of the time with stuff like this and it gets no i wouldn't say star trek has been woke since in, since its inception it handles a distant very very distant utopian dream in a, in a far different fashion far 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 different fashion it's it's not it's not woke by traditional standards right it's, that doesn't need to denigrate anyone i've never seen any of the original star trek where they denigrate people I've never seen where they put people down. It's only been uplifting. You fucking hack. So exhausting uh, to deal with. And what men are doing when they react like this are just reinforcing the point of view that women have about this stuff. And, and I see men going like, well, if a man said that about women, that, you haven't been, this hasn't been a society that has been fucking over men led by women for decades or centuries. Sorry, millions of men worldwide, hundreds of millions of men worldwide dying in wars have not been fucked over? Are you joking? John, this is way beyond, way, way beyond your comprehension. You do not articulate a good argument against this at all. You don't. <laughs> you don't. At all. You're the same kind of moron believes women in the West are repressed, right? And you'll look at that from a feminist ideological perspective and you'll still probably think all men are privileged. You'll see a white homeless man on the on the street, privileged. Super rich hot girl walking next to him. Oppressed. It's just pathetic. This, you're a moron. Millions of men worldwide, yep. Yeah. Sorry, who, who who has to who has to get the draft in the states, huh? Legally, it's not women, is it? No. Pretty certain people don't want to go to war. You dick. It's for fuck's sake. So to balance the scales a little bit, we're all gonna fucking live, grow the fuck up, and nut up and shut up, and then see. Well, let's balance the scales. Let's get some women oil workers then. Let's get some women sewerage workers. Oh no, wait, sorry. Because feminism is a female advancement movement. It's an advocacy movement. It advocates for the betterment of women in a very, not across the board fashion, very selective fashion. And you're buying into that, you moron. See what happens when the film comes out. If it sucks, then it sucks. If it doesn't, it doesn't. You know what? I fought for the female Ghostbusters film. I was like, let it happen. You all need to calm down. When it came out, it wasn't good. And I said it wasn't good. But she's got a right to, they've got a right to make those kind of films. She's got a right to make her kind of film. I don't understand why everyone gets. And we all have a right to not watch it. And you should probably be a bit nicer to your audience. Though, you know, because they paid $15 to ask that. It's all up in their fucking feels about it. Um, and I get why the right wing does it, because they're invested in making money. But regular Star Wars fans going nuts about it just, just makes no sense. No sense at all. No sense at all. Doesn't make any sense at all why normal Star Trek fans have had enough of the direction of Star Wars that's been denigrating and destroying Star Wars 
<sighs> really? Doesn't make sense. You have to be right wing to be annoyed with the direction of Star Wars. Really? You are fucking brain melt. Oh, so. Ugh, all right, I want to get off my chest, man. I can tell. I can tell that one was really bothering you as a Star Wars fan. This is why I just don't give a shit at all. <laughs> anyway, there you go. Thought you'd enjoy that. If you bared with me to the end, hit that thumbs up button. Shells. Or just morons. One of the two. But you're welcome on my podcast, guys. You're welcome on my show. In fact, looking at your thumbs up and thumbs downs on uh, your live shows, we get more thumbs up than you generally do on my podcast. So, uh, yeah, you're welcome to come on. It's not a small time thing. Twice a week, Tuesday and Thursday, the H-Cast. Cheers. Take care. Bye-bye.